am I happy? I think I can, without any hesitation, say 100% I am. But I also think that happiness is a choice. Yes. Mm. And I think it's like going to gym, right? Yeah. So to build a muscle, you've got to work it. Yes. And you've got to work it a lot. Yeah. And sometimes you really don't want to. And yeah. sometimes it's just easier not to. Yes. I'm Jason Goliath. And I'm Nicholas Goliath. And this is a new podcast called The Happiness Economy, where we try and unpack, figure out, investigate, interrogate, I think holistically understand what is happiness even? What is it to you? What is it to me? Is it different? Is it the same? What do you do to chase your happiness? Just chase it. We want to chat to people who we believe have found their happiness or are on the way to finding their happiness and find out what it is that makes them happy. So, if you're happy, we're happy. The Happiness Economy with Nicholas and Jason Goliath. Tell what you must. Uh, today on The Happiness Economy, we have, should we call them the first couple of the entertainment industry? <laughs> we have Johnny and Tiffany Barbazano. Uh, uh, they own a business. They are the country's best actress and the country's best director all in one and they do all of these wonderful things uh and they make it look so easy to be happy you don't want to miss the episode when i look at the two of you i mean the first time i saw you both um, you were both winning an award. I think it was Best Actress, Best Director uh, on the same night. And it was just like, for me already, this is like, what a, a Hollywood-type romantic story. <laughs> where, Power couple. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then getting to know you guys and the humility that comes with, 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 with both, both of you. So um, since then, so I mean, my first introduction is you both winning and then I've only seen you win. I've only seen you win. I've seen I've seen you win as a unit. I've seen you win with the addition of kids. I've seen you win with uh, the 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 addition of 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 new global platforms. Um, and at least from the outside, it just looks like every single day at your house you serve conflicts with happiness in the morning. <laughs> you eat that conflicts and happiness, and everybody in the house, everybody in the Pamazano house, is just. Very Smiling happy and happy no, all the time. The yeah. The yes. Sometimes it's be happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> be happy now, damn no. it. <laughs> so, so maybe that's a, that's a good that's a good place to start. And I'm going to throw the question in the middle. You guys can choose who's gonna who's gonna answer it. Um, are you happy? I'm going to give it to happiness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the most difficult. Sometimes. Are we? Are you happy that we've ever yes. asked? Yes. Because there's never been a partner to go, yeah. oh, so you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I know when he's not happy. I've been with him for a long time. How long? How long is long? Since 2000. Okay. 23 years. That is years. long. Yeah. That is a long time. So if he's not happy, I can smell it a yeah. mile away. It's you like know a it. burning tire. Because yes. that's what yeah. wives do. Yeah, I yeah. can smell it before yeah. I see it. Yeah. Your, your, your unhappiness is, reminds your wife of a necklacing. <laughs> it's, it's literally like a burning tire it's pretty much. on the household. <laughs> it's a burning tire on the household. <laughs> Am I happy? I think I can, without any hesitation, say 100% I am. But I also think that happiness is a choice. Yes. Mm. And I think it's like going to gym, right? Yeah. So to build a muscle, you've got to work it yes. and you've got to work it a lot. Yeah. And sometimes you really don't want to. And yeah. sometimes it's just easier not to. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that from what we've been through in our lives, from what I've been through in my life, you kind of realize that every day is a gift. And mm -hmm. that sounds so trite and it sounds like the back of a yeah. sugar packet, but it really is. Yeah. Like you look at what's going on in the world. You look at what, how people suffer. Yeah. All day, every day. Yeah. And the fact that we're in a place where we can say right now, in this season in our lives, we're not suffering. Yes. We're thriving. If that's not a reason to be happy, I don't know what is. I love that. Uh, you spoke about the fact that as individuals, so you're together for 23 years, and the people you would, who got together in 2000 are not the humans that we see in front of yeah. us today. Talk, us about, talk to us about that. So, I, so I was, in terms of finding happiness in that is... If you don't like where that person's going to, or yeah. you don't enjoy that person's journey, yes, and I think you almost need to be an outsider outside of your relationship because yeah. sometimes where you go like, like I still like her, yeah, 
and Thank she God. amuses me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, <Tricky. laughs> she makes me laugh. But but there are some things like their foibles that come, and I'm sure it speaks for both of us. But their foibles, that, and I'm <laughs> their foibles that come, and you go, but hold on, I didn't meet this person. Yes, where did yeah. this Who come from? This yeah. now? What have you been um, hiding? But I, I think if you don't enjoy that, I think you'll struggle in a relationship. And if you do enjoy that, I think you start earning respect for the other person. Yeah. And I think that's, for me, the core thing of making a relationship work. It, if you don't respect that other person, you might as well walk away 100%. But if you've got enough respect to respect the person to their best and help them become their best whether you're part of it or not, I think that's what Ooh. the important thing is. Ooh. And the, it's an ego thing, the, right? Whether you're part of it or not part is an easier said than, than done. Because we're all egotistical yeah. at the end of the day. We want it all to be about us. Um, but it's like, and it's interesting that there's so many things where we balance each other out. I hate being in the limelight. Yeah. Like, this is a problem for me. No, right I can now, feel. Right? I can feel your discomfort. But Yet, it's, you're amazing. <laughs> but you're it's made fun. for the spotlight. But it's like the, the cameras aren't rolling. I can't see them. So it's fine. We're on radio. So we're talking. So it's cool. But she, Tiffany's an actress. And yeah. she she is good in the spotlight, right? So it's almost like the director directs the actress. And yes. we kind of work like that in a way sometimes. Um, I mean, all the time, not sometimes. I don't Would know it have happened. worked if if you didn't respect Tiffany as an actress uh, or worse, she didn't respect you as a as a director. Because okay. I think that couples can end up. You love each other, but uh, as as an artist, mm, not my yeah. vibe. No, it should, uh, the first thing that attracted to me was her talent. Okay, hundred percent. And okay. I often tell people I still have a talent crush on him. Yes, I really do. So do I. So I mean, I understand <laughs> that completely. I also I'm got okay a small Johnny Crush. I also, <laughs> I also have one. Yeah. And I'm a reluctant actor. Like that's my my first love, and the first thing I was supposed to do was become yes. an actor. Mm. But as a person, physically, I struggled. I struggled going on yeah. stage. I yeah, could yeah. not. I used to throw up before I went on stage. My nerves just got the better of me. Um, so it's directors, not a happy place to be in. It's, the, it's not a happy place mm -hmm. to be. In. But again, you keep. You wake up the next morning. You go. I got to go back there. And ironically, as a director, I perform for a hundred people every day. I'm, yes. I'm the one who's acting yeah. continually. You got to act like time. everything's okay, and you're mm. in control, and you. Decisive, and I enjoy it. So uh, I act in front of a hundred people without being recorded. It's brilliant. So, what was my question is then? What was it that made you believe that you want to be an actor? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Hey, it's like you do a show when you're young because you're the loud one or telling jokes at the back of the classroom. Yeah, mm. and I suppose that's a lot of actors or comedians mm. would fall into God that pressure. Into like, that way, yeah. oh, he made people laugh. Go on stage. And then enjoying the rush of being on stage and entertaining people and watching people laugh and be enjoy what you're doing in front of them. Um, and I found out I was really good at it. Like mm, yeah. I'm not someone who claim who yeah. owns anything about yeah. himself. But I was a very, very good actor. If like if I could handle the rest of it, yes. I'd be quite good at it. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. I like. I don't know. I look back. If I had one other choice, I wouldn't yeah. have been where yeah. I no, am. No, and the, that the only reason I ask is that you, you said you were the reluctant actor who was, was throwing up backstage before performance, mm. which makes it then sound like it's not really the thing that was meant for you. Like mm. you but you were forced into it and good at it. Um, and then I just, I just find it very curious. Um, but I also find it amazing that you were able to then go, this is not for me, but I love the arts. How do I stay in this space and then still do the thing that makes me happy? Do you know? It's, I just sorry. I feel like I'm hogging the spotlight. No, no, no. We're gonna. We got. We got <laughs> time. <laughs> you said you're reluctant, <laughs> actor. Yeah. I hate the spotlight. Can't see the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Very enough to about you. you. About <laughs> me now. <laughs> I, I think my problem as a person is I get bored very quickly. Mm. So if you can't keep me entertained in the job that I do or the relationship or whatever, I'm I'm out. I yeah. switch off quickly. Yeah. Um, and you I see think why I'm so exhausted. <laughs> yes. Twenty three right. years of entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> we all thought it was diet and exercise in the no, meantime. No. Just keeping Johnny happy. <laughs> it's all about me. Um, so that's what's about telling stories or being a director. Is like there's no day that's the same. Yeah. It's like I could never work in a bank or a supermarket. Same, or oh, same. I, I think we all agree. None yeah. of us. Yeah. Um, so that's what keeps me happy, and that's what keeps me here. So you, you did, you did. Uh, Nicholas helped you avoid the question that Tiffany had to ask. The answer is, is are you happy? I generally am, but I'm, I'm a reluctant happy person as well. What does that mean? 
What, is, um, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't. Like, Tiffany is all about, you work it and you're happy and that's it. Yeah. And I'm like, hold on, what's the catch to that? Like, you need to work hard to make me happy. And when yeah. I'm there, yeah. it will take you four days to get me to a party and dressed and looking good and in the shower. And yeah. But as soon as I'm out of the shower and I'm at the party, I'm there. there. I'm yeah. like, yeah, this is Let's amazing. Um, but if I don't feel it, I don't feel it. It's For me, it's as simple as that. I did, It's like, there's no gray area with me. You either know or you don't. I don't Which I don't is not easy, that, but... I don't know if that speaks to the happiness because it sounds like you just... You know what you want and what you don't want. There's, uh, you know, like I oftentimes have to go to places that I really don't want to be at. But when you get there, then you have a good time. Mm. And that's because I'm a generally happy person. But it's just the, but no, the that's anticipation also your of... Your ethos of choose happy. Yeah. yeah. So like like if you... I'm always like your experience is, is up to you first. Before it's mm. up to the environment, the host, the actual occasion. Yeah. But it's you deciding I'm going to you know, allow myself to have a good time or a bad time. Mm. And I also think that... I I really think the stigma of the fact that happiness everybody it looks the same it's a clown it's a smiley face it's mm. laughing it's giggling um, yeah. no I think that there are people that don't smile at all that are happy mm. uh, because they found a contentment and an acceptance within within themselves and 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 are, and are able to celebrate gratitude so now for the easy one the one that we see on social media uh, the one that we see on our screens uh, just just absolutely just absolutely Absolutely killing it. Um, is there is there as much happiness as I perceive in you juggling all these versions of you? Because even even as a, I mean, I I am not a house guest at the Barbazanos. I only know what I see on social media and mm. when we do bump into each other from an industry perspective. But my perception is. Uh, Tiff the mom is very very happy. Happy, uh, the actress, the wife, the 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 all of all of these things. Talk to me about that perception versus the reality. I don't think it's very different in reality. To be honest, I can be grumpy. Of course, yeah. I can. I can be moody. Yeah. Of course, I can. Yeah. I can be angry. I can be all of those things, but I don't like to sit in it. It makes me uncomfortable to sit in it because there was a, a period of my life where I was angry most yeah. of the time. Um. Being a mom, and I'm not just a- saying this, it truly, truly makes me very happy. I've seen that. My children are magnificent. But of course I get angry with them. Yeah. Mm. They're two boys, like prepubescent they boys. They're designed get angry to make you angry. Yeah, How old are the boys? Nine and 12. Oof, okay. Nine and 12. I've got 14 and 10. Okay, so yeah. like pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. But you've crossed the Rubicon. You're in right yeah, in the middle a, of teenage. I've got another yeah, man yeah. in mouse. No, he's into, uh, new, he's into new problems. Voices, bro. I'm not yeah, ready for that pro- yet. I'm also no. not ready for that. No Ubering on his oh. own. Yeah, I took his first Uber on his own. Uh, <laughs> from a friend's house, so from a friend's house, just the safe, and wasn't a long distance. But uh, yeah, yeah, no. It's like we were speaking about Patrick Holliday stuff. Because otherwise, you've got to go pick them up. <laughs> yes. and you don't want it. Yeah. No, I'm tired of picking them up. <laughs> they he have such say, busy social lives. A friend of his brother went on a trick holiday, and he was saying, "Where am I going on a trick holiday?" I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "But you're not, though." <laughs> I said, "What we can do is get a group of your friends, and I'll go away with you." And he was like, "Um." No, I'll just stay home. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm cool. Yeah. I can do this. I'm cool. I'm I can cool. do this. I can be hip but, with the kids. But, yeah. <laughs> but coming back to happiness, you've got to also find things that make you happy. Yes. And that sometimes means they're right in front of you. They sometimes land in your lap. Yeah. And sometimes you've got to search for them. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it takes a while to search for them. But there's always something in a day. It's why I do my gratitude posts on Instagram. It's kind of more for a record for myself than yeah, anybody else. little journal. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, but it's like a practice, right? And even if I've honestly, can I swear? Yeah, the shittest free. day, I will find something. It means a always... fucking shittest day. She didn't yeah, even exactly. swear. Yeah. She asked if she could swear. And she yeah. said shit. shittest. 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 Um, <laughs> it's like swearing with your pinky in the air. <laughs> yeah. And I also know that it can change really quickly. Mm. So like I said to you, in a season, like the season we're in now in terms of our business, in yeah. terms of our relationship, in terms of our parenting, in terms of all of those things, it can change. So to live in this moment where I really and truly do feel so happy, yeah. of course there were things that would make me much happier, mm. I've got to celebrate it because you never know where it's going to end. Yes. And 
the storms will come. Of course. Mm. Uh, uh, you, you know, and I think that at you know, I'm going to say at our age, uh, <laughs> in this in this in this room. Um, I mean, I watched the. I don't know if you watched the Stats documentary, um, and if you haven't, I think you. I think you should. And essentially, it's just Jonah Hill interviewing mm. his therapist in a, a, a docu a docu mm. series, which mm. which I which I really enjoyed. But one of the points that that uh, Stats makes is uh, pleasure is always on the other side of pain. Always, it's always, and pain is a is will always be there. There's mm-hmm. never going to be a time in your life where there's all of a sudden no pain, no yeah. drama, no stress, uh no 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 despair. It's always going to be there. I do want to narrow in and and perhaps help you, you know, maybe you can help me. And again, I'm all just about trying to break or confirm these of these course. these perceptions, but we watched you change physically online. You know, we watched you become a different human being. Mm. Um, if it was a man, it would have been very easily dubbed best mid- midlife crisis ever. <laughs> you know, if you, that, that's how that's how that's how that's how it would have been dubbed. But it 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 to the from a, you know to the viewer, it for me it I felt like I was watching you get happier. Mm. Like I can't explain it. Like I felt like I watched you make a decision to not only enjoy you. But enjoy being a mother, a wife, even more. Mm. What was that all about? What triggered that? Because it was quite a dramatic shift. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not uh, physically, yes, but emotionally, I could see that as well. I think it was twofold. I think uh, coming to your question, asking Johnny why he was a performer or a reluctant performer, I think most performers, and this is a generalization, but m- my experience with people who perform. Yeah. It's generally because they have a very low self-confidence. So that affirmation that you get from an Mm. audience, from Mm. recording, from being an MC, Mm. from Mm. doing whatever, there's a little part in your heart and a little part in your soul that goes, okay, we got it right. Okay, cool. And and we we desperately, I still desperately need the affirmation. Absolutely. And I think when I was younger, I'm not sure I got the affirmation I thought I deserved. But I mean, I've wanted to be an actress since I was three. So, so. So I, I think that was part of it. And I, I think I'm pretty good at it. No, no, no. I am good at it. Yes. So. But there are words to prove. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of the. <laughs> yeah. um, Cammy is the most positive person and yes. we're going to work it away from him. 100%. 100%. <laughs> 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 um, he doesn't say that other actors are generally. Job. <laughs> I know, so I think that, that was one of the things. And so I felt uncomfortable with affirmation because I didn't feel comfortable in myself. Ah. So I would push harder for affirmation to kind of put a bandage on that that feeling ah. of not feeling comfortable. Then my sister got sick. She got breast cancer mm. and she passed away in 2018. Mm. And there was something in that spiritual shift. Mm. It, it started before, yeah. I think, because she had like a three or four year battle with breast cancer. Yeah. And I guess it was firstly fear driven yeah. where I was like, Oh shit! No, you still can reality. happen to her. Yeah, it can happen to me. She's not a smoker. She's not a drinker. She's not a all of those things. Um, I need to have a good long look at myself. I had a friend <laughs> who like calls a spade a spade. Yeah. Yeah. So she said to me, "You've got a nice face, but your body doesn't match." And there was also like, <laughs> "Really? Is that a challenge?" So your friend told you this to your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. She, she's You've that. You've got a lovely of... face, but. Yeah, yeah, and so. It, I started running. Oh, there was so shit. It wasn't running. I hated it. It wasn't no, running. No, it was, it, it was terrible. <laughs> Obbling. It was terrible. So that was before. Then I ran the Soweto Marathon. <laughs> that was that was my goal. And I ran the Soweto Marathon. And after I did that, my toenail fell off. And I was like, this is not for me. This is not. <laughs> yeah, no. I was just about to moment. ask, how was it? No, no, it was no, shocking. Oh. I'm not into it's anything hideous. that makes me lose a toenail. And then. <laughs> no. And she also carried wet wipes on that ride. I did. That run as well. I did. It's I'm a Virgo. Like it. Yeah. Just in case we need a wee halfway just through. Yeah, and then it all culminated with my <laughs> sister passing away. And then I thought, I always tell people, you know, death changes you. Mm. When you witness it, when you're part of it, it changes, it changes you. Like in Harry Potter, Luna Lovegood, and I always tell people this because I think it encapsulates it so beautifully, yeah. that only after you see someone die do you see Thestrals, which are those things that carry the carriages up to the mm. Hogwarts castle. Mm. Mm. And I think I th- see thestrals now. And seeing thestrals is not a negative thing, but it opens up a whole different part of your human experience. 
where you go like, okay, your time is limited. What mm. do you really want? What do you really want with this time, however long it is? Yeah. And so what I want is I want to be comfortable in my own body. I want to be comfortable as a mom. I can't ask my children to have confidence and mm -hmm. live in their truth and experience life in the best way they possibly can if I'm not doing the same thing. Because they call bullshit. Kids yeah. look at you and go, yeah. no, psh, mm. immediately. But you. That's yeah. what they say. <laughs> and now I guess it's almost like an addiction, I guess, where I, I want my body to be strong. I want my body to be healthy. He often says to me, so you're being an arsehole, go to gym, which means like I need a bit of a serotonin boost or something. Well, my wife says I can't me, remember ever saying that. No, my wife, <laughs> my wife I'm not even going to lie. But people normally say to me, not, 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 not Sean, but other people sometimes <laughs> say to me, you being an asshole, did you eat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm the but also the same, yeah. also the same, also the same, also the same. Tiffany also doesn't do things in small measures. Like, okay. I think that was that was the beginning. It's like she started, and I was, because I was an athlete when I was at school. Uh -huh. So I was a runner. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And then, so when she's like, okay, I want to start walking. It's like, okay, well, we're going to, you know, and I had all the technical jargon yeah. for, we'll go yeah. down the left. Yeah, and, and we were pushing the pram and we had our first born. I was amazing in that beginning. Yeah. But, and then we started going to gym. I can't go to gym unless someone tells me to be there at a yeah. certain time. Mm. And I got, a, I got a trainer Yes. when we went to gym. She was doing her own thing. And just, oh, yeah. I got myself a physical trainer, but I only lasted two weeks. <laughs> and he ended up training her for the next however. Then she lost the back, backstreet boy and I put on all her weight that she lost. <laughs> And now she's telling me, like, no, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> you got the right Oh, the roles but, have changed. But also, it, it's tricky. It's a tricky path to travel. Because there was a stage where I think I went overboard. And I suppose you're absolutely right. Wow, truth bombs. I don't do things in half measures. So I, I did take the eating and the yeah. training and all of that kind of thing to a place that wasn't conducive to a happy life. Yeah, no, I'm you, well aware of that move as well. Yeah. I tried once, yeah, and uh, I'd move with my lunch bag with my broccoli and my steamed oh, things. I couldn't last Me too. too. And um, no, it was amazing. Like I, until someone we went to Switzerland, and then there was chocolate and cheese mm. and wine. I was like, no. Mm. He also Oops. said to me, "I gotta stop. Mm. Get, I'm getting too attractive." No. <laughs> married no, married. I got a comment from I'm Robbie getting, Collins. I'll never yeah. forget. He touched my chest and said, Oh, you're looking good. It's like, That's enough. I can't be too sexy. I'll That's take the fondue, enough. please. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough yeah. of that. Mm. I, look, I, 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 find it, I find it fascinating the big change. I'm always fascinated, not only by people who have changed, because I'm exactly like you in, in the sense of if, if you're not holding a gun to my head and telling me what time mm. I'm going to be there or telling me that, you know, uh, exercise, life or death, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not, I'm not doing it. So people who commit to the change, because we all know the person that has dramatically lost the weight and immediately just put it back on. Just in, and we've, we know people that go through those cycles, especially, uh, I mean, I, I, I would consider myself one of those people. So to see somebody who's been on a program, gone too far, and then now seems to be kind of finding your mm -hmm. balance and your happy space and, and realize how happy this, this makes you. Do you like you more now? As, 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 your relationship with self changed at all in this new you. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Because I think I've reached a point also with age, I think it comes. I'm 45 now. And I think I've stopped believing my own bullshit. Because the, the voice in my head for a long time seeking that affirmation sorted from other people. Yeah. I still obviously love it. Sure. Of course I do. I for ask sure. him for affirmation artists, all the yeah. time. He's like, I gave it to you in 2020, <laughs> 2011. Why do you want to know I again? I struggle with that. Yeah, he does. But, but, I married you. Is that not enough? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I think my default is no longer that outside affirmation first. Okay. I'm trying my best. And again, it's exercising to have the affirmation in myself first. So the Outside affirmation is just like an extra awesome boost of happiness. I like that. I like that. I, I, I feel like COVID taught, taught, taught us that. Yeah. Just in terms of nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's going to be no. think, thinking about your problems because they're all going to be thinking about their own problems. Mm -hmm. um, very true. So, so you've got to find your own motivation, your own drive, your own purpose. You've got to love you first. You've got to compliment you first. 
you've got to you've got to be very very and social media is also i think and it was around about the same time where you like the the thing of speaking into a vacuum or mm. like <laughs> i'll never yeah. forget going onto twitter in the beginning and you write those tweets yes. it's like ah, whatever it might be and then you only realize much later that only two people read it and it's <laughs> tiffany and her mother yes my mother yeah. but you think the whole world and is like ah oh, i'm tweeting to the world <laughs> man and it's like and again it's the realization of your audience is sitting around you and if yeah. you don't mm. like your audience where you are you're not going to like it somewhere else mm. and i do think tiffany has learned that it's like her affirmation she used to crave affirmation in the weirdest of places yeah. like going to a grahamstown show and you got five people watching you and going ah, i don't care about those five people well, those i want five people a thousand the people they're Otherwise, the most <laughs> important people in the world <laughs> no they're Monster. not yes. <laughs> in no, on those earth. five people those <laughs> five people and those five people have so much power they do. Those pe- those five people have the ability to make or break your day, mm. to make or break your run. Mm. You have those five people. One of them says the wrong thing. One of them yawns. One of them is artists. Yeah. We are so sensitive. So sensitive. We are super sensitive. So sensitive. And I think and she's aware of that. I'm not yeah. aware of that. No, you're I'm lucky. Like, there's five people. Yeah, I just want to go home. No, nah, you're lucky. No, you're lucky. I I do right? think well, it's a sign. So right. No, <laughs> but it's a sign of the the how much it matters. <laughs> mm. That you, you know what I mean? If the five people matter, then your your art matters. Mm. If if the five people don't matter, then I feel like the paycheck matters. Mm. I don't know if that makes if that yeah. makes. I never do it for the paycheck though, it, ever. But I do get angry that there's an, if there's a hundred seats and there's only five people. No, but, like, yeah. but that's that's your passion. That's your yes, no, it makes that's us angry too, but in a different that way. There should be a hundred mm. people seeing yeah. this. You upset yeah. that there's ninety five people who are missing at yeah. the opportunity. You're not upset about the five people that are in the room. Mm. So our thing has always been, it doesn't matter if the room is full or if there's two people, if we're doing the show, we've got to give it your all mm. because they deserve mm. to get the best out of you. Mm. But producer, director, yes. talent. It's, yeah. mm. No, no, I get you. And I focus on failure and she f- focuses on success. Explain and that. we've always been like that. So I will always, I always, I will break something down before it gets there. So we've, we've got a show releasing. It's yeah. like, I, I'm already going, people are going to dislike that. That music's not great. So I would have criticized that thing from wall to wall more than anyone else can. So if we get a bad review or a bad quit from someone, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I knew that. I yeah. it. So do you think it's a case of lowering the bar for yourself to kind of just protect yourself? It protects me. That's all that it is. When, if there is backlash. And again, it's like we speaking earlier about what you're born with like we were speaking about our parents earlier mm. there was no one who criticized me more in my life than my father did like mm. i my story for my whole life is seeking affirmation from that one person yeah. and i'll never get it mm. and being now in my 40s and having your own children i realized that i'm never going to get it and it's okay i don't have to be broken yeah. by it anymore which is a great revelation to have but it still exists in me it's like all my work and everything i'll seek the failure first yeah. And then once it does well, like in a year from now, we'll go like, yo, we did quite well there. You know, yeah. It was really good. So then what, do you, what do you teach your kids now about happiness, <sighs> about finding their happiness, about being in a happy space? So I think for me, it's about authenticity. So we're lucky in that we've grown up in, in a very diverse world, Johnny and I. I mean, mm. we went. I went to art school. He went to Mondial, which he's... Okay now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we you both guys, went to. No, 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 I went to no, Florida no. Park. You guys beat us fifty no. <laughs> really? Probably rugby. the only school we beat. Fifty yeah. no in rugby, um, and you had yourself and Mbo Pops. There's like there's like secrets in Mondo. Yeah, no. but I mean, all the guys in my trick were thirty seven. So yeah. no they beat you. <laughs> no, that's very. True. They drove uh, themselves yeah, to very school. True. <laughs> Very true. Got the old boys. No, I'm not playing the Goliaths. It's not. It's not. It's not often father and son matriculate on the same day. <laughs> I mean, not, but it happens in one day. And I think you, I, we strive to instill a sense of acceptance into our boys, hmm. and also to make them the kind of people. And again, it sounds like I'm speaking from a sugar packet. It's terrible, but I really no, believe. No, that. but I, I want you to. I want you to open the sugar. I don't yeah. explain <laughs> that acceptance. I don't want. Explain don't, that acceptance. So you say you teach oof. your boys acceptance and unpack that for me. I don't that, want them to have a childhood they need to recover from. Like I think the two of us, in our own experiences, yeah. had childhoods in certain ways 
that we've needed to work really hard. I think most people are age to recover in on. some ways. Totally. Yeah. totally. Yeah. It was the parenting of our mm. age group, mm. definitely. So our children go to school with a beautiful Muslim community. They're exposed to trans people in their school. Um, I have a niece who's very happily out and proud with the most beautiful girlfriend. Yeah. Um, our friends are diverse. We've got friends of every ethnicity, yeah. every culture. One of the gifts of our industry also. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So I think if they had to say to me, Mom, what what will make me happy? I would say to them, finding your authenticity in whatever that is. Like mm. if you want to if you want to fall in love with a Volpre bottle, like Do if it. that Volpre That's bottle makes you happy, Do man, it. I'm yeah. in. With the understanding of their choices have consequences on themselves and other people. Mm. So... Yeah, I think that that's what I would tell my children about being happy. But also just fun. My yeah. God. Like, have a good time. Have a good time. Yeah. Have a good time. It, life is hard. Life is shitty. Life throws you curveballs. Life teaches you hard, hard, hard lessons. People you love will die. Um, people you love will be sick. My best friend is going through an ovarian cancer battle. And it's so hard because she's the best person she is the best human being life and you, is never going to be you fair go like, mm. she's literally the person where you go anyone but her yeah, yeah. yeah. like and please not so her. many yeah. criminals yeah. who could have cancer yeah. not, even, not even not even, not even criminals it's just, just like grumpy people mm. grumpy people mm. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna learn, i'll take it yeah. i'll take it <laughs> you're gonna learn such difficult lessons yeah. you really are and you've got to be real with it as well i, to- I but think that's again what I was saying. Yeah. have fun yeah just have fun Find the fun, find the joy, even if it's really, really, really tricky. I use the word tricky because I don't like the word difficult because I feel like you inviting the universe to yeah. manifest that thing. Yeah. Even if it's tricky, find something. Like he was tricky this morning. He was tricky. He had a tricky morning. Why you got to be like that? Because it's the truth. And I can tell the truth, man. The... And so what, what, what brought me joy? Yeah, what brought a little me joy bit was just like 15 minutes on my own yeah. walking outside. That's yeah. what I needed. Just Love and it, it didn't affect him. Love He's it. still going to be tricky. Yeah. Yeah. But it affected my reaction you to him. So anything I can, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can control is my own behavior. Yeah. That's another thing I would teach. Do you know what's important with our kids as well? Is we also they got it. And they don't have to because your child's never going to tell you everything, right? We yeah. know that. But what I like is when they're in really tricky spaces, like and heavy spaces. Yeah. So you don't you don't realize that, or you forget that at that age they're going th- through things for the first time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And you're like, ah, whatever. But when you hear it coming out of a mouth for the first time, and what I love about our children is specifically the relationship with mother and children is they go, "Mom, can I speak to you?" And you automate. It always starts with, yeah. "Mom, can I speak to you?" And you know what that conversation is going to go. Yes. And just that space that they are allowed, because again, happiness and sunshine finds yeah. positive. And I'm like, it's okay to be unhappy as well. Yeah. I don't know why we've got yeah. to. The pressure of being happy is so bizarre. It was what I was saying earlier. It's like your parents get in a relationship, have children. You got to be happy. No, you don't. Sometimes I just want to be alone and I want to be moody and depressed because I, I wallow and enjoy that space. But 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 for me, even that's happy. Mm. So sure. I just I feel like I feel like happiness is is the same as as the word perfect. I feel like it's 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 misused. Mm. Yes. Uh, so for me, the word perfect doesn't mean good. It's it a just means thing. every single thing is in it is 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 in place. Mm. You, you know what I mean? So I go. Uh, I'm a grumpy, happy person. Yeah. I love being alone and a little bit miserable and hard on myself. And in those moments, I'm having a great time. You may yeah. not see it. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not reflected outwardly. Uh, in my person, but I love it and mm-hmm. I'm choosing this time and it, the only time it's not happy is when that time is robbing somebody else of their happiness. So that's something that I'm hyper-conscious of is, is you know, I can steal somebody's happiness and I yeah. don't want to be responsible for that. My mom had this wonderful saying growing up where she would just be like, don't be cuck. And don't, don't, <laughs> don't create cuck. She just be like, "There's enough cuck." You see, everywhere you look in the world, there's cuck. There's cuck. Did you see how she looked? There's, yeah, hmm? there's enough she cuck. Yeah, so don't create cuck. cuck. I was, I was giving you don't have to look I for was cuck. Giving him the secret signal because I literally said to him this morning, "Don't be cuck." <laughs> <laughs> Stop being cuck. Just be like, so but sometimes like, you have to. No, be so that's cuck. that. Yeah. No, no. But I'm saying, I, I, and and her words were always like, "There's enough cuck." Mm. So don't create cuck was her main thing. Mm. Don't create cuck because the one thing we're not short of here is cuck. Yeah. So don't create more cuck. Uh, and sometimes taking a quiet moment. So, like, I, I mean, it, it, it takes time. Uh, Sean, for example, 
always wakes up a little bit earlier than me. Hmm. So she's already had 50 conversations in her mind before I've even opened my eyes. Now I open my eyes <laughs> and this person is ready to go. So it took a couple of years for Sean to realize, second cup of coffee. But now she'll watch me drink that second cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? She'll just keep popping in the I room. She'll just keep popping in the room to see the time. Can I lay down all of these stories on you? And I just want to, I just want to be alone. I don't want to talk to anybody. You know what I mean? But, I'm, but my, my point is, is I think that I think we rob ourselves of being happy because we think that happiness is the happy birthday to you. Yeah, Yay, smiling. streamers. And yeah. I'm like, for me, living a happy life is, is it, it's, it has to be all of it. You know what I mean? I've got to be able to zoom out on the peaks, the troughs, the highs, the lows, the happies, the sads, the angries, and, and be able to say, yes, th I, there was a happy life. I may have been crying in that moment, but I was so happy. Mm -hmm. I may have been angry in that moment, but when I look at it, I'm so happy that I have this person to even get angry with. That makes me happy. Yeah, you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So so it's like, I get what you're saying because mm. often when you are the grump of the group, uh, people expect a, a certain version of, of happiness where you're like, no, I'm me, I'm cool. Yeah. I'm happy. Don't, 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 don't worry about me. And my world get that about me. Like yeah. they, they know when to leave me alone. They know when to switch me on, when to switch me on. Like again, it's like, ah, maybe it's hard work for you guys. I'm mm. sure it is at times. <laughs> 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 but it's like it's okay I don't, I don't know why again it's the pressure thing I don't know why you've got to conform to certain things when you're not that person and you, and you know and the funny thing is is the more you speak to people on the real you realize how similar lots of us actually yes. are that we're not yeah. Yeah. yes no no this woman works hard at being happy yeah like and she she seeks it she's the kind of person that will if there's a coin on the floor and it can be underneath a corner she'll find it yeah and because she, she finds she seeks the happiness and yeah. not because it's money but it's like oh, i'm so lucky i found a coin no i'm the guy so she searches and for the luck i right? don't it finds me or, no or but, finds way, it, but which is even okay. better bizarrely it's because you've put it out into the a world million yes percent. The, yes is the law that of attraction yes yes, so yes. It's, it's exactly the, what you the law put of out attraction. Is what you i get. believe it 150 million percent same spiritually again my spiritual journey is I like signs and signifiers. That's what I like. My sister's messages to me are feathers. I will find a feather, guys. You can be in a vacuum-sealed room, and if feather. I need that moment of just like a little bit of, just a little bit of affirmation, yeah. I will find a freaking feather, or I will find a 10-cent piece on the floor. The amount of, I'll show you photographs, like the most bizarre places on earth, where you would never find 10 cents. There it is. And for me, that's just a spiritual no, thing. No, but so, so I, just, I just feel like because there are people that don't buy into that school of thought, either you've got to often hide it or make excuses for it. And then I'm just like, no, the world is going to treat you exactly mm. the way you think you're supposed to be treated. Mm. Nicholas will tell you. Mm. From before we even started speaking about affirmations and the secret and uh, uh, being able to manifest things, I would drive, we pull into the busiest parking lot in the world, Jason drives to the door because in my mind, no, I'm not parking at the back. There's gonna be an open yeah, parking someone spot. Someone has to leave. There's going to be an you open guys parking come from the same world. spot. And and literally, so 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 Sean now even gets annoyed where she's like, I don't know how this works. I don't know how. Because it why? works. And yes. that's the thing. So she's it's, like, this is not fair. Your life is not. Your life is not fair. And I go, yes, but that's because I believe that that's the way it's supposed to be, um, and 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 always will be. And as soon as I change my mind. The world will reward me with exactly what I'm what I'm thinking. So if you go, oh my God, there's not going to be parking. I'm going to have to walk so far. That's exactly what's going to happen to you. Mm. But if you if you if you believe uh, it's this weird magical thing where that's exactly the way you're gonna you're gonna find your ten cents, you're gonna find your feather, and I don't believe you owe anybody an explanation, the value or the meaning you attach to anything. Mm. And I don't believe you should justify or make excuses to anybody about where your joy comes from Absolutely. and why it comes. As long as it's not hurting you, like I said, my rule is simple. As long as I'm not stealing from your joy, mm. um, then well, anyone's joy, anyone's yeah. happiness, yeah. Mm. Just do your thing. So unfortunately, we are we are out of time. No, I must say that we have loved this so much. Yeah, for once we get to make the call, not you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> still, still got in there. Still, still got in there. But uh, we, we always close in the same way. We, we call it the Goliath Happiness Index, um, and essentially we ask you just to answer a couple of questions as honestly as you can, rating them one to five. One being poor, five being unbelievable. 
couldn't couldn't be better. Um, there are three questions. I will ask them one by one. The first one you sorted on, sort of answered already, but just a, a very holistic, overarching, not necessarily how you're feeling in this moment, but how you're feeling about your life right now. Number one, are you happy? One to five. I'd say a two. Is that the right sign? No, no. Five is good. Good. Four then. Okay, four. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that that like, two. I was like, <laughs> wow. <"Who?" laughs> I said tricky. I didn't say <laughs> two. <laughs> Everything's good in the world, but just, no, just case. For improvement. no, you must leave room. Yeah. Just in case. Mm. I would say also room. four. I would also say four. Because I think there is so much we still want to do. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Uh question number number two. Uh, in terms of acceptance, um, accepting where you are, accepting what has happened, whatever that could be, whether it be uh, 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 grief, whether it be business, whether it be whatever. So just in terms of acceptance and accepting your life and accepting who you are, what you are, where are you? One to five. Four. Because so I can't change anything. All the if onlys and what ifs don't change the what is. So a four. Like that. <laughs> I'd say that again. I like that. All the if onlys mm -hmm. and what ifs mm -hmm. don't change the what is. Thank you. No, I heard it. I just yeah. wanted yeah, to just slowly yeah. for the you people know, to you know you. You know yourself. Yeah. You know why he's saying that. Oof. Continue. I'm a one and a five, ironically. Which is I'm, great. I'm Which never happy. I'm always searching for something else. I'm just, since I've met her, I've been going back to England. Like I went and travelled. Yeah. And it's like I'm going back. And it's like five years later we were what we were in a solid relationship 10 years later we were getting married it's like i'm still going to england so i'm always never happy where yeah. i am but i'm really settled where i am in my life ironically at the same time so that's a five can i tell you for me it feels like that's where your happiness is mm. is in that little bit of uncertainty it doesn't feel like happiness because i think your perception is still the laughing giggling mm. happy but i feel like that's where your happy place is it's just the the calm, uncertain, looking for the next. That's that, your, yeah. It's, it's also, it's exactly the same thing as you criticizing your work and bringing it down as low as you can so that when the critics mm. do come, and I think you play your life, your, your life in exactly the same way. Yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, I'm happy, I'm not happy. Could be better, could be worse. Um, and, I, and I might still, I like that. And I can, I, I receive that as an answer. Uh, third and final um, is optimism. So in terms of the future, future versions of you uh, as, as husbands, as wives, as directors, as actresses, as mothers and fathers, uh, how optimistic are you? When you, when you look forward, what, are you, what is your gut telling you one to five? For me, no. Yeah, you go for it. Go first. No, you can. Go for, for me, it's a five. I, like, I don't think we've ever been in such a strong place like we are at the moment. And ironically, I think COVID, and I'm sure most people mm -hmm. will say this, but it taught you what was real and what yeah. wasn't. And I was one of those people who really enjoyed living at home in COVID. Mm. I didn't mm. like COVID and what it was doing. No, to no, me. of course. I hated what it But did I loved not coming to your bra. I but loved it. <laughs> 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 we were all okay I with loved that. It, yeah. Um, yeah, I quite enjoyed being at home in that space and with family and with everything. And uh, yeah, I think since that time, the world's gotten almost like more stable in a way, mm. even though the world probably isn't more stable. Yeah. Mm. Your world, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So five I like for it. Me. Five. Mm. I also think five. I said earlier, like this season for me in our life feels like in in on my dream board. I do a dream board every year in January. Yeah. Um, and this year, if I show you my dream board, all of those things have come true. For the last three so years. So you have the last three through. years. You know why? Because I've manifested the shit out of it and worked board. really hard. No, you look for your ten senses, yeah. your feathers, and your dreams. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, and you find she them all. She seeks the shit out of it. I, was I like, do. And I don't mean it in a like mm -hmm. you search for it. It's it's in front of her all the time. It's weird to see, and I'm the biggest pessimist on yeah. earth with stuff like that. Um, I believe it when I need to believe it. For sure. <laughs> so, ah, yeah. There it is. For Thank sure. you. Um, but she really, I've never seen someone work that hard, and not in a negative, in a really positive yeah. way. Like. She seeks the shit out of happiness, and she gets it, hundred mm. uh, percent. Look, I I I relate to you in terms of the illness and the grumpiness and and being fine like that. And to me, I relate to you in terms of the nothing, Nick, as well. 
in mm. terms of the find it mm. um it, especially because you know that nobody's nobody's bringing it in and i so for me uh, i i do a bit on stage uh, is part of the motivational side about uh, what if i died right now mm. and uh, instead of keep going into heaven or, or everyone to look at it uh, prapitas is let's first have a look at the movie that is your life and let's discuss this movie because did you know you were the director here did you know you were the writer here did you know you were the casting director here mm. did you know you were completely in control of every day every second yeah. and and for me once i'd i'd got that clear in my mind a down day feels like a wasted day a day where i didn't chase a bit of happiness mm. feels like when i when i watch the movie back i'm not going to be happy with that scene mm. uh, you you know what i mean i'm not going to be happy mm. with that scene and and I, and i would have wished i made different different decisions in the moment and then i afford myself the power to be able to make those to be to be able to make those decisions but because i'm so in control of all of this i i want to make it my version my story and it, it it's not going to be a sob story it's going to be skopsky and donor you mm. know what i mean there'll be i always say the opening scene is sex at a funeral you know what i mean it's yeah. it's wild the whole yeah. thing the whole thing is is wild but it's 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 the life that i want to live and i won't be able to blame anybody mm-hmm. and therefore i hold nobody responsible mm-hmm. for it So you just got to you got to choose in Dallas. I relate so hard. And we also like I tell I tell this to everybody when we start a show our business this is part of our business ethos in terms of my life it's part of my life and the Dalai Lama says people want to be seen, heard, recognized and make, make a contribution. And as soon as you realize that those are basic human yeah. needs that every single mm. person wants including Absolutely. yourself. Yeah. The recipe is a whole lot simpler. You don't have to work as hard. to find yeah. the happiness it's just being seen being heard being recognized and making a contribution and making decisions if those others aren't in place exactly so understanding the something. choices yeah. and if you aren't getting those things yeah. if you're not being yeah. seen uh you know make a decision change mm. something if you're not being heard you change something mm-hmm. and it's, it's it's hard all of those things are easier yeah. said than done but absolutely the thing i teach my kids is that you are in control of your happiness yeah. nobody else yeah. i can add to your happiness but I can't make you happy. Mm-hmm. You've got to make the choice. It's that I say to Jason all the time, you can be the cloud or you can be the silver lining. Mm. Decide. Find find the place you want to be and then that's where you're going to be. And he keeps saying he's the grumpy one. But when push comes to shove, he's one of the most empathetic people in the world. Like he can pick up on a vibe no, like yeah. no. Also look like seconds. a very I'm funny yeah, human being. You can once you if you ever come down, I'm here for you. I no <laughs> 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 I, I, I feel like I feel like in this circle you're the you're the luckiest one. Yeah. It's because He is, right? You, mm. No, no, we've we've got to we've got to seek out this this <laughs> happiness uh, all the time where the happiness is within you. And and I and I, I know that sounds that like the cheesiest yeah. thing that's been said no, but, it, but that's and I, that's exactly I, what I was saying. I I I envy I envy I envy that mm. where you're not putting yourself under pressure about the type of day you're having. You're just having the type of day you're having. Mm. Uh, and you know you are happy because you've made the decisions where it counts. You've, yeah. you've married right, you've parented right, you've worked right, uh, and the rest must then, you know, just, just, mm. just, just kind of happen. I haven't even actively done any of that. Those things have just come. No, but but <laughs> yeah. but you 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 have you you still shirk responsibility, but you have yeah. you did every one of them actually. Yeah. Yeah. You did and every one of them to actively, do them. actively. You actively did every single one of those things. It's very true. Yeah, yeah. I'll choose them again. Yeah. I would. Yeah. What a lovely thing. I do just want to say I cannot thank you enough for your time oh, and you came to us and we look up to you. Uh you know the whole industry basically stands on your shoulders. Um and uh, Good luck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And uh yeah, please just just, just continue. <laughs> continue all of it. All of it because we need we need all of it and we appreciate you guys uh so 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 much. Thank you. <laughs>